Hey, hey, everybody. So we know some of the biggest topics in news right now are the hurricane about to hit beautiful, sunny Florida and turn out some lights. And it's nothing new for Floridians, absolutely nothing new for them. They are accustomed to boarding up and protecting, going to higher ground. Doesn't mean it's any less difficult each time they do it. There's families, babies, pets, and then there's people who can't leave. So there's a lot happening, not just to land and to humans, but also to marine life, to trees, plants, to the birds. And then in Florida, there's a lot of places you can go visit that there's caged mammals and animals that can't be transported and their innate self wants to escape so they're going insane. So last night I really wanted to help. So for some reason in my dream state I took flight. My beautiful soul self took flight and it went across the oceans. I could feel the salt air, I could hear the waves and I was going above it, then above it, and then above it. And then I went flying super high. And then there was all of this energy blasting towards me. And I was trying to calm it. I was trying to counterbalance it. I was working so hard and feverishly to get this to slow itself down, to dismantle. When I was shown a satellite, I was fighting a satellite. It had no rhyme or reason to it. But if you know anything about real weather, you know that a lot of it is not natural. That it is used to manipulate, to get in favor of the not so favorable side. It's very sad to know that, that innocents are threatened in order to get people of power to submit to the darker side. And so when I realized I couldn't battle this and I didn't see anyone else around, but it was a wake up call for me because I saw everything really clearly. So what I've been doing today is dousing that whole area with blankets of love and that, yes, it stirs the ocean, it recycles things, it detoxes places and things. But nobody wants to see death and destruction of the innocent. Nobody really wants to see that except for the undesirables. And unless somebody gives in and gives them what they want, then more destruction happens. But if you notice, sometimes all of a sudden it's category zero. So the fear and the panic that arises from all of this is a food source for those effing demons. And even if you are born and raised in Florida, and this is a normal occurrence, it does not lessen the adrenal overload that everyone is experiencing and the clouds of fear that are rising above each individual into a collective mess. So Spirit showed me to continue to douse and put blankets of love all over this area as far as my eye could see over the oceans. And I'd like to take a minute to encourage each and every one of you to just douse this entire area with so much love and blankets of protection. We can't stop it or fix it. That's not our energetic job, but our job is in hopes that we can minimize any losses or injuries. 
because there's so many things at play that we're unaware of. So instead of focusing on, oh my gosh, it's category four, it's a five, it's heading towards, oh, it's gonna hit this part. Don't feed into any of those news channels, turn them off. Turn them off and see each person, each family, each pet, each tree, each plant, each bird, each mammal in the oceans, innately finding safety and weathering what is about to cover that state. And perhaps collectively, if enough of us can do that, come Saturday, we have some really, really good news and the outcome from our outpouring from our heart. And visualizing just blankets of just beautiful golden Christ consciousness, golden love, just golden love, calling in for the balance of the divine feminine and the masculine energy, call in Saint Germain in the violet flame of transmutation, Quinyin Yin and the lavender flame to blanket everyone and transmute all does not serve and trust that the work is being done on physical, energetic, and invisible layers of all of our angelics and our galactics brothers and sisters who are working diligently with the energies. So all the interferences that create fear and distortion are no longer able to penetrate us. So please take some time throughout today, tomorrow, and the next day, and just close your eyes and visualize beautiful sunny Florida and all of the people and all of the islands all the way that are in the supposed pathway of this destructive, intentionally set hurricane. And then I want you to send into core of Mother Earth your heartfelt love and sending that into her core, she will then release beams of multidimensional love to all the places that she knows need it the most. So she will send fortified light beams to areas that are in trouble. And maybe the other light beams are a little lighter, but let her be in control of sending out loving protection to herself in the areas that she knows need it the most. Please feel free to leave me comments on your, 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 your so-called energetic prayers. And um, if many, many, many of us can join together on this several times a day, it will amplify the results. Okay? So have a great day. So much love. Be safe. And trust.